Well, hello and welcome one and all to what is a very special day on the English football scene. It's the day Arsenal meet Manchester United, two giant institutions of the game that also happen to be amongst its most decorated. This a fixture which has been globally recognised as one of the defining rivalries of recent years. Rivalry often personal between managers and players and down to the fact that both have so excelled. Every game akin to gladiatorial combat and decorated with wonderful attacking football, crunching physicality. Faces have come and gone and rivalry has entered into a new era. But there is and one is thing that never changes, lineup. and that is the fact that neither of Number these sides one. can bear the idea yeah, of losing to the other. And that Number on its own, 19. a factor sufficient to make this utterly unmissable. Number so six. red and white, of course, the preeminent colours at Old Trafford, which is now Number Officially, 20. the largest club football ground in you England, its capacity 75,000 and growing. Well, they call this a friendly, but the crowd clearly doesn't think so, and nor in actual fact do we. Well, I'm sitting here, Peter, thinking, is it possible for these two to meet under friendly circumstances? This exhibition match is likely to exhibit the same old rivalry. To me, it also has the same feel to it. And I'm pretty sure we can look forward to what will be a combative, high-intensity affair. We can't really say anything negative about this. And if it is full-on, then I'll be happy to watch that. There's the whistle, and here we go. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Well, Peter, I'm a huge fan of Bukayo Saka. Someone always praised for his versatility, his attitude and, and his cleverness around the pitch. He has the potential to excel. There's the hit! It's run loose. Who's going to get there? Oh, that's an own goal! Oh, it's terribly unfortunate for them, and maybe we can attribute that to a, to a loss of focus. So one moment's crazy confusion, but they all count. Listen, sometimes you need that little bit of luck in games like these. Odegaard played out to the right. Oh, well played, well played. Casemiro. It looked as though that might lead to something quite promising, but it turned out that that was not the case. Massive lead! Ericsson. Now the counter. Bruno Fernandes. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. That's played into space. Hits one! Quite incredible spell. They are flying. Oh, a goal of real quality. He made it look ridiculously easy. Well, most of those go high and wide because of their difficulty. He made it look like he does it every day. After 24 minutes is number 36. Manchester United grab a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. We're looking at a very different game now, the command has been established. Out to the right. Towering header! Now, who's going to be first to this? And that's gone behind for a goal kick. A 
Roberto Card. Martinelli. Gabriel Jesus. Out to the left it goes. Now it's Martinelli. Could move up a gear here. Martinelli. And he's in a really good position. Gets up to head it. Same again, same outcome. This is proving to be a very good spell. The intensity is great, but uh, they've got to make it count. Now it's Sancho. Bruno Fernandes. There will be one more oh, sweet time. beat. Well seen. Saw that coming. And we've reached half time. Well, it's hard to say whether a two goal advantage under these circumstances is decisive or not, but so far, I haven't really seen enough to indicate that the opposition can come out in the second half and improve to that degree. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Manchester United in control at half time. Please two welcome here. our players, everyone. So, off we go once more. Martinelli. Passes coming off in quick succession here. A well cut out, no margin for error there at all. And the counter is on. Sancho. Eriksen. Now it's Bruno Fernandes. Oh, that's a fine interception. Odegaard. Well, he's felt that, hasn't he? Manchester United with this hand. Arsenal have a free kick. Saka. The attendance for this match was 72,306. Oh, he's picked out the runner. You can never be short of runners into space, as long as the space left behind is filled. Well, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Substitutions taking place. Sancho. And it's Eriksen. Casemiro. Oh, that's a key interception. And that has left him in a heap. Martinelli. Zinchenko. Oh, and he's broken the line here. Great leap! That's a fine save. Nketiah is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. Ericsson fiddles it through. Now it's Sancho. It's run loose here. Bit of a communication breakdown there, it seems. Odegaard. Casemiro. And that's been won straight back. Interesting ball. Oh, great shot. Tries a shot! It's off target and by quite a way. Substitution in progress. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Gets away from his opponents. Cross goes in there. Last ditch defending, but that'll indicated. do. Two minutes to be added on. Ericsson with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. Manchester United claim victory here, and on balance, they were worth it.
Well, how will we look back on that? Manchester United made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know, it's, it's not always about form, it's not always about class or style, it's about pride and they showed loads of that. Their attitude was spot on today. Well, that's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a I'm very good evening. I'm afraid to tell evening. you that we're expecting traffic to be heavy after the final whistle today.